I know you pressed vinyl and CD. Are you doing the digital downloads yet, or do you not feel comfortable with the uh, new format? Oh, no, we're doing all formats, but we're sticking with the tangible um, vinyl. But we're definitely doing downloads, MP3s, digital, ringtones. We're doing it all. Good. So you're embracing the new technology, but you're also really holding on to what you feel most comfortable with and what you feel gives the best sound for the type of music you're performing. Yeah, you know, the, the new technology, you know, we wanted to make it clear, too, the name of the label is Craze Savers, but at the same time, we understand, you know, th it is a business. And, you know, there's new technology out there, and there's uh, a generation growing up in that new technology. And we have to be sure that we are, we're exposed to that generation as well. But at the same time, there's an artistic value and um, to, 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 to having vinyl um, presented throughout the world. That's why we call ourselves Craze Savers because, you know, like you said, the vinyl, is the, in, in, I mean, the, the digital stuff, you got your CDs, you got your downloads and your MP3s and all that stuff, and that's fine, that's beautiful. We all need it. But what we can't do is let the original art form get diluted and so that the new generation coming up won't, I mean, we have to make sure that they have some type of tangible and some type of education on how this music evolved and how the platform evolved. And, um, and so that's why we elected to call ourselves Crate Savers so that say, hey, you know what? It's about preserving an art form. It's about educating. It's about keeping the community of people alive. You got people that maintain a living off of making uh, art work for vinyl. You got people who plants that send their kids to college off of having a wax factory. Um, these are the same people that supported underground music and uh, accepted us and worked with us when the corporate environment wouldn't. And so it's more than just having wax. It's a, it's a bigger educational platform that we have to promote. But at the same time, we understand digital, but we don't want people to get it misconstrued. We're for everything, but we're taking it upon ourselves to say, hey, that's cool, but let's not forget this, and let's keep promoting this and educating people about this as well. It was interesting this year, too, because there were a lot of live acts. I mean, Model 500 played live, and I've never seen one, and I mean, I've never seen all of them play live before, and that was really interesting. It's interesting to me, too, that the people I see DJ mostly were DJing using... Um, vinyl and if they weren't there were a lot of times using Ableton doing some production live as well so I found it interesting that we're seeing a lot more DJs if they're not using vinyl trying to use a laptop to push into that production boundary and uh, I found that really interesting I don't know how you feel about that what do you think about the laptop DJs or not but I mean you think there's a future with Serato and with Final Scratch you think that's maybe a middle ground towards something else well I mean it's a future for it but at the same time the turntables are, it, it's like dinosaurs, but at the same time, we're, that's why we continue to do vinyl for the turntables. And um, we hope that the, the, the turntables won't die, and that's why we got crate savers, and that's why we have having, um, we got this thing called DJ Make It Louder that's coming up, and it's basically gonna be consist of two turntables, one mixer, no Serato, no MP3s, no effects, just straight out arts, your gift that you do. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. We're here with uh, Scan7, and we'll be back with uh, more from Movement 2007 soon on GearWire.com.